trying to get my morphone. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to be making a video on morph transitions using Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. So let's jump right into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get to morphing. As you can see, I have two video clips down in the timeline. So these are the clips that I'm going to use to morph from this clip of this woman to this clip of this woman. Now, when you're using the morph transitions, you want to make sure that the clips that you're using are similar. And what I mean by that is similar objects, similar perspective, um, the height of the head on this one is similar to the height of the head on this one. Uh, the height of her shoulders is similar to the height of the shoulders on this one. So when I create the morph transition, it's going to look smooth and it's going to look good. Another example could be like a ball morphing to an orange. Similar shapes, as long as their position on the screen and things like that are similar, it's going to look more realistic. Now, if you're going to try to like morph from a, a rabbit up on the upper left corner of your screen to a tiny little pony on the bottom right corner of your screen that morph is gonna look ridiculous okay so make sure that you're using clips of similar um properties similar objects thing like that the more similar they are the better the morph is gonna look i'm just saying all right so i got my two clips on the timeline and first thing i want to do is come up here to the library section and i'm going to open up a new tab here because I don't want to change any of the tabs that I have open. So I'm going to click on Add New Tab. It's going to open up to the default location, which is the project bin. Now I'm going to come over here to the Navigator, and I'm going to go to Transitions. And then I'm going to go to New. When I click on that, it's going to open up the new transitions under that tab that I open, and you can see the Morph Transition. What I want to do with this is I want to drag this down to the clips. So I'm going to place my cursor over this. And I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this down to one of these clips. And once I see that that little transition symbol is there and I see the little plus sign by my cursor, I can let go of my mouse button. And now I have the transition applied. Now, the next thing I need to do is double click on this transition to open up the dialog box for the transition. But because it's so small, can't do it. It's trying to open up the editor. So what I need to do is stretch out my timeline some. So I'm going to place my cursor over the time here on the timeline. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this out until I can see the little symbol for the morph transition when I hover over it. So now that I can see that, I can put my cursor over this little symbol, double left click, and it'll open up the dialog box for the transition. Now that I have this dialog box open, I can click on edit. And this opens the morph transition editor. So on the right hand side, we have a preview. So you can use this to see what your morph transition is going to look like. If I scrub my timeline here, we'll see what it looks like without me making any adjustments. And looks okay but it doesn't really look all that good to me okay so this is how it looks right now you can use the play buttons all these buttons down here frame button seek button all that goodness to preview what your morph transition is going to look like now here we have a little vertical line and this is the line that tells us where the transition is going to take place or where it's going to start so this is the actual frame here under the start window where that first clip is going to start the transition. And then this is the clip that it's going to end on on the second clip. So this is the frame 
that it's going to end on on the second clip. So those things are identified by this line here. And if I make this line longer, if I move it to the left, then the transition is going to take longer. And it changes the frame that's visible underneath this vertical line. If I move it the other way, then the frame changes as well. So I recommend that if you want to shorten or lengthen the transition, that's one of the first things that you do. Because if you make all these other changes and then you lengthen it, it's going to change the position of the nodes and you'll have to do them all over again. In the start and in the end areas that you see here, we're going to drag these nodes around the object to create a reference point for the morph transition to take place. So. I can place my cursor over a node until I see a crosshairs. Then I can drag the node where I want it. And I continue. I can continue to do that with the rest of the nodes. Now, I can also add nodes by placing my cursor over this orange line. And when I do that, you see a little plus sign next to my cursor. Now that I see this little plus sign, I can left click my mouse and it'll add a node. And then I can move that node where I want it. So I like how the start looks and I'm going to do the same thing for the end. So any changes that you make, you can always remove nodes or add them back using your undo button or your redo button. It's really easy to do if you make a mistake. Remember that you got these buttons up here to use. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and once again preview the morph transition. And I like it. I like it a lot. Hi, Morphe. Looking real morphy up in here, morphy. Okay, so once you're done making all your changes and you like how everything looks after you preview it, just click on OK. And this will exit the editor. Then you want to go ahead and click on OK for your transition dialog box. And then when you play this back, you should see a beautiful morph transition in your timeline. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Greg Young. Greg Young makes entertainment videos for things like Star Trek and medieval events. So if you're into Star Trek and medieval events or anything entertainment wise, go over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to receive a shout out like Greg Young did, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you'll receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.